All righty, boys. So a lot of fighters got added to EA Sports UFC 5 today. There was also a brand new patch, and uh, a lot of things changed. A lot of things changed for the uh, for the better. But probably the most anticipated fighter uh, to be added to the game is MVP, Michael Venom Page. And as you can see right there, there is his character model. Um, I think it's a pretty good character model. It looks just like him. Uh, the shoulders probably isn't wide enough, but, you know, EA has always had, especially with, uh, with UFC 5, UFC 4, UFC 3, they've always had issues with the, with the body type of the, of the fighter. And when we actually went to Canada, they explained to us some of the reasons why the bodies have always given them uh, an issue, right? And I still have a video I'm going to upload kind of explaining what their process is for molding the fighter bodies. But there you have it, Michael Venom Page. Let's take a look at his fight stats. Uh, we've got uh, his perks, laser focus, pay to miss, crazy legs, taekwondo, a marathoner. These are some very good perks, bro. And then we've got speed of 95, uh, punch power of 94, accuracy of 98. Very, very accurate striker. Blocking 90, head movement 97. Footwork is going to be very, very high. His switch stance is also going to be high. Takedown defense 90, kick power 95, the kick speed 95. Overall, this man is a solid, solid kickboxer. And, of course, we saw that demonstrated in his fight against uh, Kevin Holland, right? His first, his, his UFC debut. And, you know, with that UFC debut, there was a lot of questions, right? Like, what version of MVP are we going to see? Is he going to be himself? Is he going to be flashy, taunting in the octagon? Or is he going to be a little bit more reserved? Because now he's in, he's in the big show and he he's fighting you know a super elite athlete super elite fighter in in Kevin Holland but he went out there fought exactly like MVP always fought and he put on a beautiful show man landed some clean shots on Kevin Holland pretty much I struck him the whole entire time i remember at one point Kevin Holland was telling his corner man we underestimated how fast he is he's so much faster than we thought and that speed is you know his his whole entire style right a lot of it uh, depends on his attributes his ability to enter the pocket and exit the pocket you know his karate background um just his kickboxing background period so um i think that, that is well represented in the game i've used him a couple times and he feels good he feels good of course he's one of the taller guys in the weight class as well which is also good if you want to play like an outside fighting style of uh style of game if he's grappling you're looking at takedowns of 86 top control 87 bottom control 86 Submissions, offense 90, submission defense 91, ground strike 92, clinch strike 90, clinch control 87. This is really not a guy you want to go out there and start shooting takedowns with. And uh, he's just, you know, he's a striker. That's really what you want to use him mostly for. But if you get put in submissions, as you can see right there, with submission defense of 91, you should be okay. His cardio, 92, chin, 91. We've seen him get put away. But that is still a very respectable stat. 91 is pretty good. Body, 90. Legs, 92. Recovery, 89. Cut resistance, 95. And then when it comes to his top moves, you've got the overhand. You know, he definitely likes to lunge in with those. His hooks, his Superman punch, kickboxing combinations, flying knee. So we're going to see if we can, if we can end uh, a fight with a flying knee. That would be good. And see if we can do something with the Superman punch in there. Because these are two shots that we've seen him do some serious damage with in MMA. So, without wasting any additional time, man, we're going to go use Michael Venom Page. We're going to debut this man. Try to get at least two matches in. Two, two good matches in. And then later on, we're also going to look at some of the other fighters that were added to the game. A lot of them were added. So... We're probably going to have a lot of fighter showcases to do in the next few days, but it's not a bad problem to have. All right, so let's go use Michael Venom Page. Here we go. Michael Venom Page. Started things off with a... Am I recording? Yes, I am. All right, here we go. What you got, Connor? So, Michael Venom Page added to EA Sports UFC 5. There's also been some stamina changes, and we're just going to test test this patch as well and just see uh, how things are playing. This man is circling, circling, circling. I don't want to immediately start teeing off on him. 
So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to taunt the shit out of him. And I'm going to, you know, we got to try to, you know, let's do the let's do the Venom page, right? Let's just taunt the crap out of him. <laughs> he's got the worm. He's got the, the circle and taunt that he does. Look at how beautiful worm right there. The noodle. Um, and we're just going to taunt him. And the same thing that... Like, man, Venom Page's taunting definitely makes you want to hit him. Makes you want to punch him in the face. And look at that. It is already affecting my opponent. Come on, baby. I'm Venom Page. I'm the one that fights off the back foot. What you doing? You're using card. Let's go. Back up, boy. Uh-huh. See if I can get him very annoyed and get him to start... Start trying to attack me. There we go. There we go. <laughs> it is amazing how that literally just drew this man out of a shell. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. With that. See how they gave him uh they gave him Bruce Lee's jab? Which makes sense. What I wish they would have given him as well is the Steven Wonderboy karate blitz. That cross jab cross combination that Steven Wonderboy Thompson throws. And I know his his style is not exactly one-to-one -one comparison of Steven Thompson. But there's a lot of similarities, right? So this is this is a few one of the things that I'm really really hoping that they do so much better with in the next game. Like someone like MVP is such a unique fighter. He's so unique and so different with everything he does. I'd like to see just more in terms of uniqueness. You know, this is a guy that, like, should absolutely be, be try to brought in to the studio to try to do mocap of. You know, motion, mocap the way he, he moves in both stances, mocap the way he throws his jab, the way he throws his cross. But, like, my only issue I, with, like, the idea of bringing in fighters is, like, we've seen them bring in fighters before to try to do motion capture. And what typically happens, it's like, I say this all the time, like, it's not just enough bringing in the fighter. You gotta be able to direct the fighter on what you actually need. Or the fighter is, like, if you asked, if you asked Michael Venom Page, hey, man, uh, uh, give me, just do a shadow boxing. Just, just shadow box for a little bit. I promise you, he's not gonna shadow box. He's not gonna move and, he's kind of circling me. He's not gonna throw his shots like he does in the fight. Every single fight, like he says it himself, like, man, he becomes MVP. He has to become MVP in there, you know? He gets his swagger on. He Then he starts moving like he, he likes to move in the fight. You got to, like, try to figure out a way to get him to, to get that swagger on during mocap. Or else he'll just give you some basic shadow boxing shit. And it's not going to look anything like he actually fights. I've been trying to, you know, tell him that over and over and over and over again, which is why, you know, some people think, you know, the best thing to possibly, if they can figure out a way to, like, record these fighters while they're actually fighting, that would be good. They have a technology to do that. But, man, sometimes, got him. sometimes the best thing to do, circle it. Sometimes the best thing to do, like, I strongly believe if you have, if you have an actor, or if you have someone that knows how to mimic the fighter, and they're a good actor, and they're a good performer, I'll take them over the actual fighter any day. Any day. Like, I'll take them over the actual fighter any day of the week. 
because not only do they know how to mimic the fighter, but they're actually a... They're also... Did I just say actually? What the fuck? Brain is fog. Look at how gassed this man is in round number two, boys. Stamina is no joke right now, bro. Get out of here. Stamina is no joke right now. Like... <laughs> Whiffing... The amount of stamina you recover in between rounds. I mean, players are gassing back. Everybody is going to have to really... I'm not saying this is going to lead to you not being able to pressure fight. You are still going to be fucking pressured down if you run into someone that knows how to do it. But man, you've never had better tools to deal with that at this point. Just saying. Loving the way that feels. All right. Let's move on. You ready to fight? Are you ready? Yeah. It's just, oh, that's a cross. Hold on. Bink. There we go. Oh, this man is getting pissed off right off the bat. He's like, hey, don't you be taunting me. Come here. Oh, he's getting mad. Oh, my God. I love it. Mm-hmm. I was saying, man, like, motion capture is, it's, it's a performance. It's a performance. And when you have someone that knows how to perform, like, one of my favorite motion capture performances is the Planet of the A performances. Oh, my God. Those guys are so fucking talented. They literally, it literally looks like they brought in actual freaking chimps and gorillas to do the motion capture. But those are human beings doing that. Human, you got it. All right, let's see what you can do. No, get off me. Man, get out of here, you did not. No, the other, there we go, get out of here. They, it literally looks like they brought in actual chimps to do it, but you know, they brought in human beings who spent a lot of time learning how animals move and then they did the performance you know like a lot of like if you guys play if you guys play uh fight night champion a lot of those unique animations were not mo by the actual fighters i know with mike mike tyson they were telling us that Brian Hayes was actually the one that did a lot of a lot of the mocap for Mike Tyson. Brian Hayes at the time was the dude. This dude is pressuring the shit out of me. But this is a straightforward kind of guy. He's not playing footies whatsoever. Oh shit! Oh my bad. Okay, okay. I was talking shit, and he was like, "How about that?" That was retarded. I went to the head. Ah! That was gonna be to the head. Got him. Look at the stamina. This is round one, boys. Round one. These players, I mean, some of these players are about to be fucked, girl. Round one, already at half stamina. This is wild. All right, so let's see. Let's see how much he recovers in between rounds. It ain't gonna be much. It's not gonna be much. Yeah, he caught me with that roundhouse to the head. That's okay. That is a okay. All right, let's look at the stamina right here. Ready. Go. Boys, let me tell you. Yo, that is a game changer. Holy shoot. No pun intended. But that is a game changer. I remember we tested this particular patch in, in Canada. And we were like, you guys, you guys, you got, you got it. You got it. I really don't think they need to do anything else to stamina right now, bro. 
Uh, I mean, look at this, bro. He barely recovered anything. And this is five rounds. How the fuck are you going to go five rounds like this? It's impossible. I think the only thing... He got it again. The only thing now they need to do is improve... You're not going to do nothing with these takedowns, boy. They need to increase what actually happens to you when you're gassed. Like, one of my favorite games that like, really shows what it feels like to be gassed is Fight Night. Man, when you get low on stamina in Fight Night, you become almost useless, bro. Sit him down. Which is why it's so imperative that you don't gas out in Fight Night Champion. And I'd like to see something like that. Um... Just fighters slowing down a bit more. More animations showing fatigue. Oh! He lead into that one. Ah! We got it! Yes! That is a freaking good KO. Yes. The two things I wanted to happen in this showcase happened. Thank goodness. That's good. I'm happy. I'm good. I'm good. Give me that Superman jab. Boom! Lunging in as he's about to throw. Uh, we were we were locked in today. We were locked in, and uh, the two players we fought today. The biggest thing that I can see is they're not ready for this time of the change, bro. Like it's probably catching them off guard. They're trying to play the exact same way they were playing before, kind of just like whatever. But man, you're gonna have to really watch your shots, pick your shots, be careful you're not whiffing. Watch that body. Ladies and gentlemen, referee very good, Murray man. Bean very good. You guys, let me know in the comment section what you think about MVP. Also, let me know what you think two. about the stamina the changes. Five. Are you satisfied right now? Let me know in the comments. And I'm going to get out of here. I will see you guys later with a brand new one. As always, stay safe, boys. Peace out. Have a good one.